Hi guys, this video is going to be about the Glam Glow masks and I'm going to pick one. I have three samples of three different ones. There are different colors and they are for different things, different types of skin, different problems that you're having. So um, I'm going to pick one based on my current issues. I think I'm going to go with the um, white one and that one is supposed to help clear your pores and it's actually gray when you put it on, but the bottle is white. I just have the sample size from Sephora, but I will let you know that these are $69 per mask, um, like per bottle, and I'm never paying $69. I refuse, but you know, if you're gonna give me a free sample, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna try these out. So this video is gonna be about the white one. Um, I will give you more info, um, but first I'm gonna take off my makeup. I'll be right back. Okay, so my makeup is now off and I'm gonna use the Super Mud sample I got from Sephora. It actually comes out gray, like I said. Um, you're supposed to apply a thin layer and leave it on. So, um, leave it on for five to 20 minutes. Hmm, it smells like medicine and black licorice. Um, this is the Super Mud clearing treatment um, it's supposed to be great for people with acne prone skin and um, it's supposed to like suck out everything that's like deep down in your pores and uh, help you uh, clear that out so I don't know if that's true but I'm sure curious to see it um, I guess what you were supposed to be able to see when this is drying I've watched some other videos with this you're supposed to see like things bubbling coming out of the mask. Like I'm going to try to get a more solid layer as it dries and stuff, but you're supposed to be able to see like stuff coming out. It sounds gross, but it's like a really good thing. I suppose like totally got it in my ear. Cute. Well, <laughs> if I needed those exfoliated, I sure know where to go now. All right, so we're gonna leave it on for five to 20 minutes. If you can tell where it's drying, it's already turning like a lighter gray color. So I look like I have camo paint on my face, but that's okay, because it's all in the name of beauty. All right, guys, um, I will be back when I notice a change, but as of right now, it just feels like it's hardening on my face, and you're supposed to just rinse it off with uh, warm water in the sink between five to 20 minutes. So it is 7.58. I will be back before 8.18, but maybe sooner. Ooh. Okay, cool. I was gonna go, but I gotta show you. So the side of my nose where I can see my pores, more like right here, while it's drying, you can see little dots. Can you see them? Little dots are like where my pores are. Oh. This is cool. Oh my gosh, my face is really stiff. Oh my gosh, okay, I will be back guys. All right guys, I am now at 17 minutes and as soon as I finish talking, I'm gonna go rinse it off real quick and I'll come back, but I wanted you to see it dry. So it's all light gray now and it appears to have like pulled in the toxins from my pores. And it's kind of weird looking, but I am excited to see how soft my skin is and if it feels super clean. So I'm going to go rinse this off and I would recommend kind of steering clear of your hair more because I got some hairs in it and it's funny because the hair is like slicked down and it was like tickling my eyes so I tried to move the hair out of the way except it was like stuck in the mud mask so wouldn't recommend that but I'll be right back. Okay, so I rinsed off most of the mask, but I did want to show you, so I left a little bit on. It was kind of a cool, um, <laughs> like, sight to take it off, so I just wet a towel. Watch how it goes from the light gray to the dark gray that it was when I applied it, when I wet it. Isn't that cool? Or it's like it's dark gray underneath, and then it's light gray when you, I don't know, the chemistry of it is fascinating. Well, as fascinating as chemistry can be to me. 
Anyway, um, as soon as I finish taking off this last remnant, I'm going to feel it out and see what I think about the texture of my skin now. But I can tell you, I feel like some of the redness has gone down already. And it feels really soft. Um, I feel like my pores might not be as visible, and maybe that's crazy. Maybe I'm lying. I don't know. But um, let me get you a little closer. See if you can tell anything to me besides a little bit left on my face. Don't mind that. Um, to me, it just feels like my skin is refreshed. It feels like new skin, like fresh baby skin. I don't know how to explain it. But I really like the smell. I know some people don't like the smell, and I certainly do not like the $69 price. But does it work? I think so. This feels really good. It didn't sting, it didn't burn, but it was really firm, which I've done masks before. But this one was different. It was like not tingly, it didn't have like a cool mentholy feel, it didn't have like aloe or any of that stuff, but it just like felt like it was getting in there. And seriously, my cheeks feel like baby skin. It is awesome. I highly recommend these if you have just $69 laying around and you want to go to Sephora and pick something up. But otherwise, they're probably cheaper alternatives. I can't wait to do the other two masks. Uh, two of the other masks, I should say. There are more um, from this line. I think I have the green one and the black one or the blue one and the black one. I'm not sure. And they're for different things. But right now I was having the acne breakout, so I wanted to use the cleansing clearing one that was supposed to cleanse out the pores and clear acne. But when I have other skin problems, I'll definitely use the other samples. Take care, guys. Bye.